Hello. Welcome to Midnight Messages. My name is Stacy. And today I'm going to be doing a reading. What kind of reading? I don't know. I really don't know. We're just going to see what comes floating out. Yes. We're just going to see what comes out in the cards. Because this is also a demo. Energy intuitive reading. So, hello. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're worth it. I also don't know who needs to hear this, but not only are you worth it, but you are loved and respected and wanted around no matter what you think about yourself. What? Did I say it? Right off the bat? Oh my goodness. That was sarcasm. <laughs> okay, listen. If you're on my channel and you're new here, I, um, I'm a sarcastic, no bullshit witch tarot reader. Um, I do things as I see fit. Oh, what am I going to see? Ooh, 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 we got past. We got present, and we've got dun da da da. That one's staying like that, cause we're not gonna look at them. We're not looking at future until the end. That's what we're doing. This one's gonna be an interesting reading. I can already tell. Oh yes, definitely for the four of friggin' cups. Yeah, it's gonna be. This is the bottom of the deck, so. But listen, about to be missing. You know who won't find you? Some old man fishing. Your grandma wishing your soul's at rest, but it's hard to digest with the size of a hole in your chest. I don't know. Maybe someone needs to go listen to some DMX. Because <laughs> that's uh, who that was that I was, you know. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here. So maybe someone's losing their mind. <laughs> Ooh, that's fun. Um, but the past, right now, you had a star. And it's looking like you might have let that star go. Um, listen, it's okay to let things go. It's okay. If you had an amazing person in your life and they slipped out of your hands, it's okay. It's okay to be upset about it. It's okay to not understand it. It's okay to misjudge the situation. It's okay to, to have said things that you didn't mean. It's okay. Listen. Because I don't know what's in the future. And I'm not going to look at the future cards until I have all the cards that I want laid out before us. Okay. Yep. Like I said, it was probably. And we're not. We're not doing that. Ooh, yeah. And then. Look, you got the star, and then this back of the deck energy is the sun and the the marriage. Happy family card and the sun card. Yeah. This is going to turn into a love reading. Hopefully you got some good news in the, in the mix. What's going on with the collective? What do we got to know about the collective? 
So some cards I do take reversals in, like these ones. And some cards I don't like reversals in, and I'll even correct the cards. And sometimes I'll be like, oh, that came out reversed, but I don't like it like that. So it's not going to stay reversed. And then some days I just take whatever because it's how it's shuffled. And the universe said, this is how the cards are going to come out. This is how the cards are dealt today. But listen, that past, you, you honestly, you had an amazing, beautiful, romantic connection with someone, your partner, your past person. And they were your person. They were your person. You failed to see that, though. Because right here you're 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 upset and holding on to the past and with the empress reversed like come on we know the empress is beautiful and all-knowing all-seeing all feeling and just this beautiful receptive loving energy that's the empress that's what she is in her divine feminine glory the empress is beauty personified reversed She's like a demon, like a ugly, the ugliest inside person, woman, that you can come across. I would not want to come across this person. Because they are also powerful, like spiritually powerful. But they use their, their gifts in all the wrong ways, like all the wrong ways and you can't tell them like you can't tell them that they can't use their gifts like that because they'll be like but they're my gifts and I can use them however I want to yep yeah so this amazing like romantic connection leaded to nothingness yeah, and you're having an issue with your morality because this connection is nothing anymore. Stop it, girl. I ain't gonna tell you one more time. You got one more time to yell at them boys like that. And that is the future. Yeah, you want to take a little tune-in break. So listen. There are issues that it seems that this person in you this person back here that you had this deep loving spiritual connection with they brought out your like softer side you're more in touch with your emotions and your healing and they brought this out of you but you blocked it you blocked it you blocked the shit out of it too you put a big old block on it right there see you blocked it just just like this you blocked that healing you blocked that divine connection in the past you blocked the connection this you can't say it any other way and then here you're trying to hold on to the past but here's the thing you've got this reversed empress energy that is hovering over you and you're over here trying to stand in your morality like you're trying to stay true to what you actually believe in but you're weighing all the options and this option is not this this you know that this was love. You know, you know from a higher perspective that your higher self and this person's higher self were matching up and you did something that blocked it. You, you, you take 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 responsibility for your your you you your actions. Because whatever you did you ended up with the exact opposite of this person. You ended up in a situationship with the exact opposite person of the past, the past person that you're in love with, by the way. 
you ended up with like that person but reversed like exact you pulled a uno reverse on yourself and you let go of a draw four for a skip not even like they pulled a reverse they they did they did a they they did a they pulled a you because that's i feel like that's kind of like what you did here you blocked this connection because you chose something else you made a choice listen all right you know what i'm gonna get some clarifiers here because i need them i need them you need them i need them you need clarifiers i need clarifiers i'm gonna keep these right here but I need what in the world? Because these are two people. These are two situations, two completely different situations. I need clarifiers on the past situation right now. What in the world happened? What happened? What caused this entire like switch up to like from completely positive to completely negative? What did you do? <laughs> And I'm not victim blaming. It's just more like, what did you, what happened that you went from a completely positive, loving connection to a draining, ear, immoral, scrup scrupulous connection? It's like you went from an angel to a demon. <laughs> Why? What happened with this connection over here? What in the world happened with this first connection from the past? We'll get into the one from the future. But this past one, like, what happened? Why? How did you let go of this love? Why did you let go of this love? What in the world? All right, well, you were overthinking things and being drama, like a drama queen. All right, that makes sense. I'm going to get another one. Listen, I'm going to get another one. I still need a little more clarification here. The Empress reversed again. See, okay, okay, this, this home got in the way of this connection. That's how you blocked it. Because you, you was dealing with this tricky hoe. You was dealing with this tricky hoe. And this beautiful person, this person found out. Through meditation, through divine instinct, something told this person to like cut and run. They they left. They left. Because you was dealing with the with the tricky hoe. And you was overthinking. This whole connection, you were overthinking. And then you went and found the tricky hoe. Because this person wasn't a hoe. This person wasn't giving it up. So you went over here to this person that was giving it up. And now, oh, I get it now. Morally, you're stuck with the tricky hoe. All right. It's making more sense. Let me let me get some more clarity. Now, what's going on with the tricky hoe? <laughs> Spirit, what in the world? All right, listen. Like I said from the beginning, I don't bullshit. I don't sugarcoat it. And, well, I didn't say this, but I swear a fucking lot. So, I'm sorry if you don't like swearing. That's why I usually flag my videos as 18 plus um but listen i swear a lot and this bitch is a tricky fucking hoe she was tricky she tricked you she tricked you over here into thinking she was your divine fucking counterpart but you already had a situation where you were with your divine counterpart and the tricky hoe made you feel like they were the evil person. Like, you villainized this beautiful person. You made them into a villain. In your life. In your story. You made the beautiful 
soul connection person into a villain. Which has possibly blocked you from ever connecting with them again. Yeah. Wow. All right, let's uh, let's find out about current. Why is it a tricky hoe in your current reality? Because you was dealing with her back here, with the nice, beautiful energy, like you, and now you, because you was dealing with the tricky hoe, and the the goddess found out about the tricky hoe somehow, because she's a goddess. Because spirit talks to her, spirit tells her. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, the tricky hoe moved fast. You didn't need to be moral with her because she was... She was fast and loose. You didn't need to wait. You didn't need to be spiritually up-leveled. You didn't need to be right with yourself to get with the tricky hoe. But you did to be with your divine counterpart. You needed to upgrade yourself. You needed to up level. You needed to heal. You needed to get rid of your addictions, your fucking vices. You needed to get rid of the toxic, the toxicity in your life. And you didn't. Instead, you invited more toxicity into your life. Because the tricky hoe was fast. She, she said, hmm. I ain't the empress. I'm a loose hoe. I'm not the one that the divine goddess um here. Um, but I'm going to tell you I am. And I'm going to pretend I am. But really, no. No. That's just not me. I, I'm a hoe. And she was being a hoe on you. And you found out just how fast and loose she was. And that's what you're dealing with right now, is dealing with how fast and loose the tricky hoe was. Oh, bam. See, this person might actually come back. Somehow, into your life, they might make an appearance again in your life in the present time. But it's not going to be, <laughs> you're not going to like that appearance. They're, they're going to come back into your life and they're going to be like, so you still dealing with that tricky hoe? Yeah, no, thank you. I don't wanna. Nope, nope. You was dealing with her because she was fast and loose. Yeah, I don't want to be a part of that. I'm not competing with fast and loose because I know my value. I know my worth. I know my vibes. I know spiritually, um, what being fast and loose like means to me. So. You was in dealing with the tricky hoe. Listen, listen. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Now let's go back to the back real quick. Let's go back to the back. What's going on with this past? Ooh, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. I thought I saw something else come out. What is this? Oh, see... You had to face your demons, but you said, yeah, you said no. You said, no, I'd rather be with the tricky hoe than face myself and my, yeah, and my demons. I would rather be down here in the muck, in the mud, in the negativity, in the drama, in the chaos of nothingness with this tricky bitch then up level myself and become the person that I need to be for that person to be in my life that I I deserve that person but I'm gonna take the tricky hoe because they're fast and loose and possibly put a spell on you yeah mm-hmm Yeah, like, I'm just saying, sometime in the fall, 
you were riding a bike or some shit. You were out doing something. And the tricky hoe came upon your path. Of course, the high priestess reversed. That's the worst. Like, that is the worst tricky bitch. And you had everyone else playing the fool because you wanted to be narcissistic. Yeah, that's not cool. Let's see what the future brings. What is the future going to bring? All right. Oop. I don't do. Yep. Oh. Well, the future is bringing a swift choice to become whole with yourself. Um and it could mean that you become whole with your divine counterpart um because that person is looking like they may not be completely gone from your mind you might be watching them somehow maybe on social media maybe watching their videos maybe being a little bit of a stalker but honestly Even if you are being that, even if you are having issues, listen, there's going to be a choice that comes swooping in really freaking fast and you have to make this decision. It is your decision to make. No one else can make this decision for you. Yep. And it will lead to your abundance. It'll lead you to happiness. It'll lead you to freedom. It'll lead you to the place where you want to be. It'll lead you to your goals, your purpose, your life's journey. Whatever you're looking for, this choice is going to lead you either in the direction of becoming whole and finding abundance or sticking with the tricky hoe. And sometimes it can be hard to make that decision because you have history with the tricky hoe. But I think you have history over here too. And that history is stronger than this history because this is all negative. This is all negative history. This is positive history. And is this person going to be coming? Yeah. Yeah, they're coming back, and they're coming back with your tower moment. They're coming back, and they're coming back with your tower. Um, watch out, because you're resisting it. They're coming back, and you ain't going to be able to resist anymore. Your tower moment is going to lead you to your choice. And your choice... Is... Either you choose to be whole and live a life of abundance, or you choose darkness and utter chaos. That's your that's that's the choice I'm seeing here. What's going on with the future for the collective? Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Yeah, see, you're going to have to go internal. You're going to have to go hermit mode. Probably over the fall. That's why I was seeing there's something that happens in the fall. And fall's right around the corner for the states here. We're literally coming up on September. Um, which I believe September is the beginning of fall. So, listen... What does the collective need to know about these two connections? What does the collective need to know about the, the love connection, the loving, heartfelt connection? Oh, wow. Hey! My cats have gone insane. I have no clue what the heck is wrong with them. They are literally tearing up everything. This love connection
is your hidden gem. You will... You have taken a vow to fight for this connection. And the cave in the empty room I see as more of a sign to go within and, and heal. The gem also... Maybe you're going to propose to the love connection. I don't know. Maybe you're going to get... <laughs> you can't do that. I'm just going to show you what popped out on the bottom. Yeah. Your love connection is a divine, divine freaking connection and you are able to become what each other wants and needs and you mirror each other so i am 100 percent certain that your love connection is a divine counterpart twin flame soulmate um it depends on how you want to label it these are just labels what is going on with this tricky hoe what's what's the what's the reason she here can you guys stop please why is she here oh because you wore masks with her oh you mm, she destroys the possibility of the ring with the riddle she destroyed yeah okay so she wore a mask that destroyed your possibility with this person your possibility of getting the ring with she gave you a riddle instead of a ring this person would have given you the ring this person gave you the riddle what else is going on with this tricky tricky homo sapien oh okay so can you see the forest through the trees and do you know what animals are in the forest what are you guys doing Bro, they sound like they're having literally a con People probably think that me and my son are constantly having UFC fights in my house because of these cats. Anyway. The tricky hoe came in, was jealous, pretended to be your divine counterpart, which is this person. This person is everything that you thought this person was but now you're seeing that this person was actually a narcissist and um while this person was telling you to watch out for the shapeshifter the narcissist the fucking the pretender she was destroying any hope or possibility that you had for that connection because she she just she she just couldn't see she couldn't she was, a, she was a rabid animal. Anything else we need to know about this? Bitch? Anything else? Okay. Yeah, so you're going to have to basically forge a new path. This, this, this path is done. Currently, it's being finished. It's it's being done. And it looks like you're going to go hermit mode. And your hermit mode is going to bring you right back to your heart. To your love. And that's this person over here. This person. This person that you made to feel like crap. Um. Yeah. Like I said, this is an energy reading. Um. The person that you made to feel like shit. You are going to go um, back to in the near future, and you're going to try to have a heart to talk, heart to heart talk with them. All right, hold on one second. And when you do that, when you have this heart to heart discussion with this person.
they're either going to forgive you automatically and you're going to be like, oh my god, I don't deserve it. Because <coughs> what I did to you was so fucking horrible. Or, or, they're not going to want to have anything to do with you. And it could be either one of those. Listen, I, I'm just saying what spirit's telling me to say. <laughs> So, like, it could be either they forgive you automatically and you're like, oh, my God, I don't deserve it. Or you don't deserve it and they have boundaries and they don't forgive you right away. Or at least they forgive you, but they're not going to um, let you back into their life because whatever you did when you chose Tricky Bitch was actually horrible to them. You, you treated them like crap. Like, you were mean. You were the narcissist to this person. While this person in your current situation is being the narcissist to you, you're kind of getting back what you gave to the person that you should have gave your heart to. You're getting your heart stomped on over here like you stomped on that person's heart. And you're getting destroyed. Like, you're, you're trying to resist this tower moment, but honey, baby, it's coming. It's coming. There is no resistance once the tower sets its sights on you. Hermit mode can not only delay it so long. Thinking, like, you think too much. <laughs> you think too much. like this stuff you it, yeah you think too much because if you didn't overthink this connection in the first place which was divine which was true which was whole which was where you needed to be if you didn't overthink this whole thing right there if you didn't overthink this you wouldn't have gotten stuck with the tricky bitch and she tricky. Like I said, she got masks. You wouldn't have gotten stuck with her if you didn't overthink every single thing. It's okay, though, because I am going to tell you forgiveness is d nurture intuitive relationships. Okay. Others with a strong sixth sense normalize intuition and provide fresh practices, tips, and tools. Nurture these relationships now to develop, understand, and maximize your intuition. Identify sensitive and supportive friends, colleagues, and family members. Or join an in-person or online community for sensitives. It takes a village to make sense of sensitivity. See this person you should have nurtured that relationship with that person now i'm i'm you should have you should have nurtured that intuitive relationship your heart knew you knew but you weren't ready to put in the work actually you weren't in re you weren't ready to face your shadows and your inner demons you weren't ready to put in the work that's why ultimately you chose to tricky bitch because her shadows were willing to play with your shadows and you didn't like it in the end though because she was worse than you by a long shot and you didn't like being shoved yourself what you did to this person you didn't like it being shoved in your face like seriously you didn't like it and <laughs> there goes half the deck we don't need half the deck oh oh the poet fell too and that doesn't belong there I'm gonna say actually that belongs here on that end alright so you got you got a choice to make in the near future and I have a feeling that it's gonna be this you're still pining for your lost love because you know that that person was your person 
your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your twin flame. You know that this person was your person. And you fucked it up. Big time. Like, you got shifty with them. You, you thought that... See, you thought that you being a narcissist was going to be a good thing. But it's like this person mirrored back everything you were giving them. So if you gave them love, they mirrored back love. If you gave them your heart, they would have given you their heart. But because you gave them shit, they backed the fuck away. Because you treated them so horribly, you disrespected them. You, you caught them names and and thought that that was okay and it's not you said horrible shit you texted horrible shit i don't even know why you're like watching this video right now because i'm telling you all about yourself it's probably a cross watcher watching this video right now they're learning all this shit about you i don't even know who this is for but i think it's like a divine masculine um, cause I'm getting a masculine energy and there's two females in it. Like, all right. So 23, 21, 9, 20, and 52. All right. Align with the mentor, slow down to center yourself, recognize signs and synchronicities and quiet your mind. Like I said, you over freaking think you overthink, you overthink, you think maybe Align with a mentor. Your intuition will grow substantially through tapping the wisdom and skill set of someone further along in their psychic development. This card may also signal that you require more tools to for navigating life as a sensitive person. Being mentored in any area may prove invaluable now. Mentors often appear in divine timing. They really do. They really do. You might be finding someone that's going to help you make this decision. Um, go within, please. Please. Go within. Listen to your heart. Stop thinking about the quick and easy and cheap. And, and, ho. Oh. Stop going for quick and easy and go for someone that you have to work for. Because that's what's going to make you level up. That's what's going to make you grow. That's what's going to make you develop yourself as a human being. Go for the person that makes you want to be a better person. All right. Slow down to center yourself. Intuitive guidance is heightened, more accurate, and appears more often when life moves at a saner pace. Your sixth sense is less responsive when your energy is pulled in too many directions. Rushing around, constantly multitasking, and swamped by responsibilities. Slow your roll for better mystical attunement and to stretch time. Well slow down smell the roses and you'll be able to smell the roses recognize signs and synchronicities some coincidences are random and others are full of meaning if you dream of someone and then run into them by chance read a slogan on a billboard that's like an answer to a prayer or a friend recommends a book on a subject you've been privately pondering consider it a sign follow those quiet your mind there's a direct correlation between quieting your mind and maximizing your intuition create more open space between your thoughts to experience fewer thoughts in general a mind not distracted by mental chatter will more easily recognize clear cognizant insights and intuitive guidance of all kinds make the mind a soft landing place for your soul so maybe write some poems that's that's intuitive maybe that's what you want to do write a song oh that's it when you quiet your mind you can hear this person's song and i feel like you may be writing a song for them as like your apology oh oh music 
Music was a big connector with you guys. I get it now. All right. So, you're... <laughs> when you apologize to them, music is going to play a big role in in what happens, like, next in the whole connection. So, if you are intuitively creating a soundtrack to yours in this person's connection which wow by all means please do that and if you do do that can you post that like i don't know can you put that in the comments or like somehow let me know that you're writing i love music music is beautiful i love music i i want to know what you're writing for this person because i feel like it would be so amazing it's going to be filled with so much love and 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 understanding and and sorrow and pain on your end because you messed up something really good with a divine being of pure love and and joy and peace and and because you messed that fucking up. I don't know if this person is going to fucking forgive you even if you write a song for them. But if you do write a song for them, I I want to know the song. Like I need I need the lyrics. All right? Please write lyrics in the comments if you are writing a song for your person. Um if not, and you're writing a poem, I would love the poem too. It's just like a song, only it's written and spoken, um, not sung. But seriously, you are on your way to either a reconciliation with this person or completely dissolving the entire relationship but it'll be like amicable kinda kinda amicable more like this person just isn't ready to hear you after what you put them through and you can't blame them because what this person is putting you through and how you feel with what this person is doing to you, what this horrible person is doing to you, is how you made your divine counterpart feel. Karma's a freaking bitch. And I bet you you got it ten times worse. Um, because that's what happens when you mess with divine beings. That's what happens when you mess with a divine being. Your karma is usually instantaneous and a lot worse than what you did to them. Just think about that. But what you feel, what you're feeling, the pain that you're feeling from this connection, because you did care about this person. You did. You honestly chose them because you thought, because the way they presented themselves with the fakeness and the mask and everything, you thought that they were them. Because they took this person's energy and, like, copied it. But they were always just a little bit off. Like, you know how when you're trying to tune your guitar and you're just a little bit off on the note? That they were just, like, they were just an octave too low. They were just more destructive. Their vibration was... I don't know why I was getting one of the stone cards, but here's the card that just flew out. Um, Dan Bright. Dan Brute. 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 Dan Brutey. I don't know. Please don't get mad at me for butchering names of things. I, my mouth doesn't work right, and I have issues with reading. I have dyslexia, among other things. Um... Yeah, don't don't kill me for saying things wrong. What it is, like the beta blockers in Grandma's medicine cabinet, da booty, <laughs> Tink twinkling, effervescent energy takes the edge off with 
it's serious feel good vibe. I'm gonna call this the booty. This is the broody. The broody. The booty. Who needs it? Emos, goss, broody, broody. Button up, white collar stress cases, broody motherfuckers. The broody. Okay, it's damn broody, but still, the broody. You guys be brooding. Um, where to put it? Wherever you want to do some elevated thinking, feeling, dreaming, or being, dude. You see this card, dude? Dude, I'm telling you. When to use it? When the daily grind has ground you into the pavement, when you feel like launching into space but lack astronaut training, vibing with the broody <laughs> can help divert your busy mind away from its pesky psychics ruled physics sorry from its pesky physics ruled orientation there's somewhere else out there flip on the high beams and explore yeah That's, i like the picture of the stone better listen there is so much going on but this person you need to cut ties with this toxic biash. Yeah, listen. What's going to happen with the the divine counterpart connection, the twin flame strength? It's going to get stronger. It's just going to get stronger over time. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, well, these didn't. No, but. The sun again? Oh my gosh. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeships, excellent craftsmanship, and long term projects. The sun. Plans that work out perfectly, amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commendations, gratitude for the blessings of life. Three of summer, news where celebrating achievements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you can cherish. See, and I said what was going to happen with that. There you go. There, there you go. What's going to happen with this? Um, what's going to happen with this toxic, horrible person? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, okay. Opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. Yeah, you're feeling at odds. Trusting your intuition. Whoa. Careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. The king of summer, honorable, devoted, mature, warm-hearted, a romantic partner you can trust, excellent advice that comes from the heart, getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. I think that that's how you're gonna get away from this. Yeah. Prince of Winter, intellectual, determined, focused, impulsive. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively, sudden or unexpected changes. This person is going to be out of your life. And you're going to trust your intuition. You've been fighting with this person. You don't like them. You don't want to be near them. You don't want to be involved with them anymore. You don't. You're you're in the process right now of cutting ties, but you have to quiet your mind, meditate, 
realize. What does the future hold for? Whoever's watching this video that this video is for because it's oddly specific. What's coming in the future? Don't let your past hold you back. Uh, don't let the past thing that you did to them um, explain to them that you were confused. You thought that this person was... You thought that they were your person because they tricked you. Like, legit tricked you energy-wise. They were almost a match-to-match -match energy for this person. And they told you that that person was tricking you. So you need to be honest with this person. I have a feeling that they would understand. Like they're on, like I said in the beginning, you had to up level yourself to be with this person. That's why you ultimately chose the lower, the lower form. Communication is key. Don't let pride get in the way. Yeah. And don't let your past hold you back. See? Yeah. So in the future, Take those as some advice from the stars. Communication is key. Don't let your past hold you back. And don't let your pride get in the way. Apologize. Apologize. Tell them what really happened. Tell them that you think you were under a spell. Can they help you? They might help you. They might believe you. They might not. They might also think that you're crazy and call an ambulance to come get you <laughs> hopefully they don't but they more than likely are going to believe you because they're on a spiritual path a new romantic cycle begins it could be with a new cycle period for you where you're not going to be playing um games you're not going to be in the the arena for games all right that's done we're done we're done now so that being said if you stayed down for the ride and you caught my vibe and you want to be part of my tribe please like share share and comment below below and as always i love you guys and peace